and Coast Guard. Yay! Well, welcome to you, our veterans, and your families for being here today to uh, celebrate and uh, have a great day here at our Veterans uh, Appreciation Day. This is number 13, I believe, and uh, we've got a good program going. Today we're blessed to have the uh, Traveling Vietnam Wall here. If you haven't gone down there, I, I really think that you uh, you appreciate when you do go down there and see uh, see how great that is. We're going to get started with our program now. So what I need everyone to do is Please stand up if you're able. Remove your hats. And I'm going to have Barry Sponsler come forward. He's going to do the invocation. Josh Grover will sing the national anthem. And Brooks Whitmore will lead us in the pledge. Morning, folks. Morning. Will you bow, bow your heads, please? Our Heavenly Father, we join together today to honor those who have served in uniform, the brave men and women who have, and those who presently serve in the armed forces to defend our freedoms and democracy around the world with honor, courage, and commitment. May you continue to be blessed, protect, and surround them with your grace every day. We are inspired and grateful for all those that have come out to celebrate with us today. We give thanks for, for all your blessings. Bless this day of activities and fellowship. And in Jesus Christ's name, and all the God's people said, Amen. Amen. dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the And the home of the brave. My uh, fellow brothers and sisters, friends, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and remove your covers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's play ball. All right, that's great. And you know what? That's why we all served, isn't it? Just for that right there, that's why we served. And that's why our guys and gals that are serving now are doing what they're doing, just for our country and our flag. And if you look up, you can see the uh, 
skydivers coming down above us right now with the plane. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of check it out here a little bit. Trying to uh, capture it. Hey, let's give the guys coming down a hand here. right there all right we're going to go ahead and move on so we can get started with uh, some of the other stuff going on today but it's my pleasure now to uh, introduce and have uh, Senator Mark Romanchek from the 22nd district uh, he's going to come up and uh, I believe do a proclamation I would like to uh, mention about Mark he's uh, I've had the opportunity to work with him over the years and uh, he's a super guy he's extremely pro law enforcement and he's a uh, very very Pro veteran. So it's my pleasure to have Mark Romanchek come up. I think you have the best sheriff in all of Ohio, don't you agree? I also want to uh, thank the two ladies that put an event like this together. If you've ever had to do an event of this scale, you know it takes a lot of work. And uh, this is your 10th annual, uh, so this is uh, a sustainable event, which uh, doesn't always happen. So thank you, ladies, Pam and Jenny. And I have with me a couple commendations. Uh, one from the Ohio House and one from the Ohio Senate. And I'm not going to read them, but I can tell you they talk about rights, freedoms, and your sacrifices. Both you, all everybody that served, and your families. We can't tell you how much we appreciate what you've done 
and because of you, we get a chance to live in the greatest country the world has ever known. So God bless you all. We love you. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Well, do we love our veterans in Ashland County or what? <laughs> every year, every year. Um, I am honored to serve as the co-chair of this committee with Jenny Whitmore. Uh, we are going to make it as quick as we can. We do have some things we do have to say this year, though. Uh, Jenny's going to start with our Keystone donors. Uh, I always say to all of you, please look at the donor boards over on the airport uh, wall. Um, Without all of those folks, this wouldn't be possible. And certainly without our Keystone donors, which is that very tall top thing that Denny and my husband put on last night, um, you know, we this this event would not be what it is today. So Jenny, I'll let you start with the donors, and then I'm going to talk a minute about the committee. So the danger sometimes in mentioning names is that sometimes names get. Uh, uh, inadvertently left off and I don't and so in the past we've not listed our donors which is why we do this awesome donor board but on this uh, auspicious occasion of our 10th anniversary um, we want to talk about sustainability and about the community partners that have been with us from the very beginning starting with a, a pretty shoestring budget back in 2013 on a rainy day at Freer Field to what you see here today has been nothing short of just the miracle of community, of people coming together and supporting and encouraging um, our veterans and their families. And so I, I wanted a special uh, thanks to our Keystone donors, to Mike and Natalie Gashinsky and our good friends at the Finn Feather Fur for their continued support from the very beginning. So year two, we moved out here to the Ashland County Airport um, under the uh, tutelage of uh, Denny Baum and friends. And so the Ashland Airport Authority makes this possible for us to gather in this space today. Barbasol has been our partner for the last nine years and you can see the big Barbasol can is is a is a fixture now at the end of the at the end of the I call it a runway but I'm not sure what this is but anyway at the end here is the big Barbasol can they have been uh, consistent partners uh, with us for the last nine years Gunther Mechanical and Herb Gunther um, consistent donors Lind Media is our biggest in-kind uh, donor that we've had, and uh, who's seen the who's seen the big billboards around? Show of hands. You seen the big billboards around? They're awesome. Jim and Barb Chandler have been consistent and faithful contributors to this event, and we thank them. The Ashland Home Depot has also been a consistent. Uh, participant and a support for our event. Uh, the Vietnam Wall, if you've not been down there yet, I invite you to please spend some time there between sometime between now and 3 p.m. tomorrow. But the Home Depot um, provided the lights and so much of the equipment to make that happen. And so we thank the Home Depot. VFW Post 1067 consistent and faithful uh, contributors to our event for all this time. The Norma Foundation and Aspen Management. And so these, like I said, these are like our, our, our larger uh, donors, but, but every dollar counts, every penny counts. So there are people here that you will never see uh, that work behind the scenes, that work so hard to make this day happen. And for everybody who has a, a hand in setting up tents and in emptying trash and tearing down tents and setting up picnic tables, um, this absolutely takes a village <laughs> to put this on. And so we have been blessed over the years by a community that also um, supports and, and helps out in so many ways. So thank you for your um, participation. Thank you for showing up in love. 
uh, in ways that um, you know we are a force for good in the world as we wrap a wall of support and encouragement and love around our veterans and their families. Okay, so lastly, um, the committee, not quite lastly, almost. Um, in 2013, it was just placed upon my heart by God that we needed to pull together a unique group of individuals to do a county event that brought us to where we are today to honor our, our active duty military, our veterans, and the families of, uh, that have either lost their loved ones due to military service or that are supporting them now as they serve. Um, my husband, Mike, the great encourager, supported this idea from the start, as he almost always does. I first went to Bob DeSano, an Army veteran, with the idea for a national and county event to honor military service and veterans and to raise awareness about the importance of the military service connection to the freedoms that we enjoy in our country. Um, it's always a risk, as Jenny said, to name any individual names, but I, and I would never want to leave anyone out. Uh, neither of us does. But I believe I know the folks who enthusiastically embrace the idea. Um, I mentioned Vietnam, Vietnam vet Bob DeSano, always a hardline counselor for me. He loved the idea. Uh, he's been on this committee for 10 years. And uh, he did add the March Vietnam veteran dinner to our dance card. So that's another portion of what this group does. Brooks and Jenny Whitmore. Brooks, a uh, Vietnam vet himself, and Jenny are a wonderful match. Uh, Brooks brings us Jeeps and Conestoga wagons. Um, in a different way, Jenny and I are a wonderful match. And Jenny and I are both do-it ladies. We encourage each other. What one of us does not think of, the other one does. And my friend, I thank you for giving all you could muster for 10 years co-chairing this event with me. On Bob's guidance, I went to see Mike Kaczynski at Finn, Feather, and Fur. And I floated the idea of some kind of a National County Veteran Appreciation Day. Mike is always supportive of our troops and our veterans. He jumped on board and he took his gusto employee, Marine Corps vet, Lonnie Miller, and put him on the committee with us. Lonnie has, has continued to serve on this committee in his 10th year. And we especially consider his service dog, Kilo, as our favorite four-legged uh, committee member. A few years ago, after a few years after Lonnie, Mike Kaczynski had the wisdom to introduce Rhonda Gear from the Finn to our committee, and Rhonda has been a godsend also. Uh, then came the rest of the team: Carl Riker, uh, Sheriff Reisner, who's a Vietnam vet. Carl's a Vietnam vet. They supported this event from the start. Carl has introduced uh, Lieutenant Randy Wood to the committee. We have an ongoing presence with the Sheriff's Department. Carl's the guy that can get anything you ask done. And uh, with a decade of heart, he gives 110% to this event. Randy is the same. Um, we are blessed by all of them. Veterans all, uh, committee members Adam Boyce from our Veteran Service Office, Jack Hadley has been here from the start, Steve Pleiss was on the original committee, and Jack Harmony, who brought in the Pheasants Forever chapter that will be cooking dinner for the 10th time for you as soon as this is over. Uh, year two, and I'm not gonna go by the years, I promise it's quick. Year two, we moved to the airport, and the unsinkable Denny uh, Baum and Tracy Baum joined the committee. They've been at the core of this event ever since. No individual works harder to pull this event off than Denny Baum. Denny brought veteran, yes, please applaud. It's a huge endeavor. Denny brought veteran Joe Kohler onto the committee representing the EAA and our event took wings. Moving forward, we're the committee you see today. Air Force veteran Tim Chandler joined us this year and together with Denny Baum has managed the entire Vietnam Wall logistics, which I assure you is a lot. I signed the contract and tapped the Ashland High School football team and off we went. This committee has had many others sit at the table with us. Uh, we've managed to thrive around our day jobs, our night jobs, our health, our loved ones' health, our families, and all that we are responsible to. I'm proud to work with all of you. I thank God we're all still here 10 years later. Thank you to each veteran here for your service to our country. Thanks to each and every hand that has been on this event since 2013. Thanks to God for honoring us with the ability to plan and execute. Thank you.
Okay, now Jack Hadley is going to come up and uh, read a poem. Jack? It's 10th Appreciation Day, which we now celebrate this year. How much veterans mean to us? I hope this poem makes it clear. Our military veterans who have served our country very well, we should listen with open hearts and minds to stories they may tell. They all gave us times of service in the air, on land, and at sea so that we live in a homeland that is guaranteed to be free. All vets, whether men or women, deserve our recognition now. For whatever they had to do, to them willingly let us bow. Please remember those now serving in the USA or abroad. Pray they return to us safely, protected by the grace of God. I'm a Vietnam veteran who knows the cost of lethal wars. When I say I'm blessed as always, the Lord returned me to our shores. But some non-vets were not as blessed. Their lives were lost where they were sent. We are honored to have the wall listing their names at our event. For those of you who see names of loved ones on the traveling wall, we honor you and that person for the answering of their call. And even if you do not know any of the names that are shown, seeing the names listed on it assures their sacrifice is known. Let us not forget those who served, not in combat, but in support. They supplied those out in the field, guns, food, meds, mail, and all that sort. We are all blessed by the great service of all you veterans out there and blessed by those who've made this day possible so we all can share. Enjoy yourselves while here today. Be grateful and do not forget to gladly share your gratitude by saying thank you to a vet. Okay, I'm going to announce uh, as soon as we're done here, uh, there, all the veterans are going to have a photo made together down uh, just down the area down here someplace. Tim Black's down there, so we'll you'll find it when you go that way. Now they give me some time to do some closing remarks. They may regret that before this day's over. So, so but we'll make it fast. So, Chief. Jenny Whitmore, uh, we're going to give her a Certificate of Appreciation. Jenny Whitmore is awarded the Certificate of Appreciation for her decade-long commitment and leadership in successfully promoting, supporting, and nurturing the Ashland Veterans Appreciation Day. It is through her efforts, along with others, that has made this day so special for Ashland area veterans. Jenny, just wanted to give you a not in the program I'm in trouble so this is the honoree of the decade award to Pamela Mowry. Pamela Mowry is awarded the honoree of the decade award for her tireless work on behalf of the military veterans of the Ashland area. By her efforts in establishing Ashland Veterans Appreciation Day veterans from all services were honored by the community in a special way. Pamela has led the creation of the nonprofit American Veterans Appreciation Event Incorporated to support veterans, including the Ashland Vietnam Veterans Annual Reunion and Dinner, and the Landing Zone Veterans Meeting. She mobilized the community in support of our veterans, and for that we are internally grateful. On behalf of all veterans, this award is presented to her, and both these awards are from the uh, American Veterans Appreciation Events Incorporated. All right, 
I'm going to close this out with one thing. The Vietnam Wall is uh, just behind the buildings down over here. Keep in mind something. There's over 58,300 soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, nurses on that wall. They're here with us today. Okay? They're watching over us today. Take some time. Go down and visit with those guys and gals. Have a great day. And lunch will be served now. As soon as we do the picture, so we may do a bunch of them, okay? So have a great day, and God bless everybody.